All right, but here, he's teeing the ball up at the 40-yard line and on the right hash. By the way, they have new lights here at Swainsboro, and they are very bright and very helpful to see the ball game, and the grass looks spectacular. So we have a fine playing surface. Of course, it's natural here in Swainsboro. Vital standing at his 31-yard line. And we are ready to go on a Friday night to wrap up the region schedule. And Julian kicks it down the right side. And it's going to bounce eight yards deep into the end zone. And that starts off the way you want to with special teams getting the automatic touchback and giving Swainsboro the long field. So another first and 10 for Swainsboro on back-to-back -back passing plays. And there's a handoff right side. And Brown is running the football. And the Bulldogs come over. It hit him after a very short gain. And the stop was made by Gage Herndon for the Toombs County Bulldogs. In fact, no gain or loss as the official picks up the ball and basically places it back at the line of scrimmage, which is just inside the Bulldog 48. So the first good play defensively for the Dogs on the ground. And Yeomans puts a man in motion to the near side and he stops. And Yeomans play fake, throws it across the middle and the ball is caught. And running down the sideline is Seabro to the 10, to the five, and in for a touchdown. Cedric Seabro scoring that touchdown. The Bulldogs nearly picked it as he scores his 11th touchdown of the season. Of course, he normally wears number nine with 630 yards of rushing offense and averaging 7.1 per carry, 90 per game with eight touchdowns. He's going in motion to the far side. Cloud throws it over there to him. He gets some blocking, runs across the 35 to the 40 to the 45, across midfield, and finally the Tigers track him down at around the 38-yard line. So DJ with the catch and go just like Swainsboro with the Seabro kid did the same thing. And the dogs pick up a big chunk of yardage and a first down. With 9.23 to go in the opening quarter and the dogs trailing seven nothing, but appear to be on the move. Angel Brown snapping it to Cloud and he throws it down the left side. Touchdown. So the Bulldogs hit him with a 39-yard completion to Chandler Lynn. Chandler with his fifth touchdown, his 18th catch. Well, so far, a very exciting ball game, and we are just nearly three minutes into it with both teams scoring touchdowns on similar type plays, short throws that turn into a 48-yard touchdown for Swainsboro and a 39-yarder for the Bulldogs as Marion kicks it. Will it make it to the end zone? The answer is no. It's going down to the one and return from there to the 15, to the 20, to the Swainsboro sideline of the Bulldogs. Do a good job covering and wrap up at around the 25-yard line as Starnes was running the football for the Swainsboro Tigers and the Bulldogs had good coverage and a lot of red helmets getting there to make the tackle. Cloud Taking the snap from Brown, throws it short to the left side. The ball's caught and run across the 35 to the 40, to the 45 down the sideline and out of bounds. So the Bulldogs will pick up the first down on the catch by the junior Tyler Heath. And Cloud takes the snap and hands it off to Hartley. He's got a hold, he runs inside the 45 to the 40 and the Swainsboro Tigers have to bring him down from behind at around their 31. Caleb Hartley is showing his quickness getting through the hole. So far this season, he's rushed for 217 yards coming in, an average of 6.8 per carry, and he has scored two touchdowns and also picked up a dog first down. The big nasty was huge. There's a run up the middle, and still running the football down the left side is DJ Mincy, and he's going into the end zone for a Bulldog touchdown. 5.37 to go opening quarter. Marion Vital with his kick, booting it down the right side into the end zone, bouncing and up against the stands where the Swainsboro band is. Second down and 20 as Yeomans comes over toward his line of scrimmage and now backs up to his 45 to take his snap. And he does, and the ball is dropped in the backfield and the Bulldogs are diving. It looked like the Tigers got it back, but a big loss 
back to the 44. So four receivers for the Swainsboro Tigers, two on each side of the formation. And the Bulldogs set to go on defense as Yeomans drops back with time. Now he's rolling to his right. Now he's running the football with space. He is sliding. He's going to come up short of the first down, but a big pickup inside the Bulldog 35 down to the 34 as there was nobody to spy him and tackle him until Tyler Heath came over from the defensive secondary to bring him down at the 36. Remember, they have to get to the 30 for the first down. It's fourth down and six, and this would be four down territory for the Swainsboro Tigers. At the Bulldog 36, with Yeomans coming to the line of scrimmage, now backing up, he's got a back beside him, but you know he's gonna look to throw to one of his receivers and maybe one of the Seaboros, and he's gonna chuck it up in the air toward the sideline, and that ball is caught and run inside the 10 to the five and a touchdown. Catch was made by Cedric Sebro, his second touchdown of the ball game, his 12th of the season. And the Bulldogs had a chance to get their defense off the field on a third and really long uh, 25 and a fourth and six, and they didn't. And that's one of the things that Coach Marsh talked about on our Bulldog pregame show, getting the defense off the field without giving up points. Now Bell trying to tie it on senior night, and the senior boots it through and good. 36-yard pass play. We're tied at 14 with 58 seconds to go in the opening quarter as we break on Y101. And now Swainsboro loading up the box with the linebackers basically almost on the line of scrimmage. And there's a handoff, and Hartley dives inside the 20, and with his power pushes forward with what should be and is a Bulldog first down as the chains are moving 10 yards downfield on a big play right there. So both teams have had a shot at stopping the other on a fourth down play, and neither did. And now motion to the right from Caleb Hartley. They throw it over to Caleb. He catches the ball. He's running for the first down. He's running down the sideline, and he's running into the end zone with a Bulldog touchdown. And so the Bulldogs have scored again on a little short pass, and Caleb takes it, what, 13 yards for the touchdown. So now the Bulldogs are back on top in this seesaw-type ball game. And here comes the snap to Cade, and he will hand it off to Allen going outside, and he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage, and he was hit by Caleb Hartley. So Hartley, who just scored the touchdown, gets a TFL for his statistical category in what is four down territory for sure. And Kate Yeomans looking at a couple of Bulldog linebackers who may be coming in on a blitz. They hand it off to Allen. He's wrapped up quickly. Great tackle by Tank Morris, the freshman Bulldog, who this season, of course, has been one of the real surprises defensively. He came in averaging 6.9 tackles per game. Somehow, some way, he got in there without really being touched and made a big play. And a TFL, a loss of one to make it fourth down at about 11. So this is a crucial down right here, and this is a down in which the Bulldogs have not done too well at, and neither is Swainsboro this evening, four downs. But the Dogs have a chance to get the ball back and keep the lead approaching halftime if they can make a play. Yeomans with two backs in the backfield, one to the left, one to the right, takes the snap, has plenty of time, but the official on the sideline is blowing the whistle, and the white hat says Swainsboro took a timeout before the snap. And the Tigers at the Bulldog 27, as Yeomans changes the formation to take a back out of the backfield. You know Yeomans is gonna throw it, and he does down the center of the field, and it's caught for a touchdown or incomplete. It was incomplete, a dog diving may have deflected the ball. Javon Brown was the intended receiver, and he juggled it and couldn't bring it in. Otherwise, he's in for six, and Swainsboro has a chance to tie the ball game but instead it's incomplete and the dogs take over with plenty of time left on the clock, especially the way they're moving the ball tonight against the Swainsboro defense to add on to a seven point lead. Big play 
And Yeoman's dropping back. Plenty of time. Rolling to his right. The righty's looking and directing traffic. Throws it toward the sideline. And was that ball caught? It was with two seconds remaining. And it was Frederick Seaboro who caught that one. First down for the Tigers. And we got a safety back in the end zone for the Toombs County Bulldogs, probably Tyler Smith. And Yeomans with plenty of time rolling to his left. And he throws it to the left corner and the ball up for grabs. And it is knocked away. And that is going to do it for the opening half. The big play made by Tyler Heath, who had a real good defensive first half. The pass was intended for Cedric Sebro in that left corner. The dogs are running into their locker room and they have outscored the Swainsboro Tigers, a team trying to clinch first place. They lead 21-14 and of course the dogs with a victory would automatically qualify for the state playoffs no matter what happens with Jeff Davis and Metter. Dog band coming out of the field. We got our halftime show coming up and that's next as we take a break on Y101. Oh, or will they try to draw Swainsboro off sides on a fourth and two? at the Tiger 44. You would hate to give Swainsboro the short field. I don't know if they're gonna snap the ball right here. Play clock at 11. And now Cloud moving toward the line of scrimmage and backing up with the play clock at four, three, two, one. They do snap it. Cloud rolls to his right and Trey's gonna run the football for the first down and down the sideline for more. Trey Cloud making it happen for the Bulldog offense right before the play clock hit zero and DJ Mincy was out there and the running back was blocking for the quarterback. Tall receiver for the Bulldogs. If Cloud goes that way, he's looking, he throws it right side, Chandler Lynn with a catch and a dog first down. Tackle quickly, but he was well across the first down marker and tackled by Cedric Sebro. So Toombs County down at the 18 yard line, seeking to add to a 21-14 lead. As Cloud drops back, lefty under pressure, throws it left side toward the end zone, juggled, and it is caught for a touchdown. Caught by Tyler Heath, and he bobbled it, but was able to catch it, and now he jumps up in the air and celebrates a dog touchdown. And now the dogs have a little separation on Swainsboro in what has been a back and forth game. It is 27-14 and Julian Marion Vital coming in to kick after the 18 yard throw by Cloud and the catch by the junior Tyler Heath. And the lefty puts his foot on it and boots it through and the dogs lead 28-14 with 8.17 to go in the third quarter and $50, of course, coming from Palmer and Associates Insurers to the Toombs County Booster Club, thanks to Cloud and Heath. And we'll take a break with the dogs leading 28-14 on Y101. And of course, the Bulldogs are leading 28-14 at Swainsboro. And the Tigers need two for the first down after their timeout. And Yeomans, he wants to throw, but he's running out of time. And the Bulldogs will sack him for the first time tonight. Brandon Usher, the first of several dogs to get there and push the QB backwards toward the original line of scrimmage. So now it's third and 10 for the Swainsboro Tigers. It looks like the Bulldogs are coming at the QB again, but they're going to run a little draw play right up the middle, pick up a first down and more. And Allen takes it toward the goal line. And the Bulldogs will stop him short. K.K. Gaffney coming over and the senior made the tackle on the run with a chance to make it a one touchdown game again here in the third quarter as Yeomans goes under center. And Yeomans will jump up in the air and dive into the end zone and score a Swainsboro touchdown. Which is interesting strategy if you make it, but if you miss it, you're down by eight instead of a touchdown because Cade Bell's been kicking his extra points tonight. He's not perfect on the season, but he's done well tonight. And they're going to run it right up the middle and the dogs are going to stop him. How about that? And the dogs will have an eight point lead after the touchdown and a two point run failed 
With four minutes and 33 seconds to play in the third quarter, Chase Miller, a big body in on defense, making the tackle for the Toombs County Bulldogs as we take a break with the dogs leading 28-20 on Y101. And he hands it off to DJ, finds a hole, and he's hit, and he dives forward. They hit him low, and he surged up in the air and then came down. He came down close to the first down marker. I don't think he's going to get a spot of a first down. He may have been slightly shaken up there as he's hopping off the field because somebody hit him very low, which sent him up in the air. And he's going to come up a yard short of the first down. And let's see if the Bulldogs can stop Swainsboro on fourth down because fourth down has been a pretty good down for the Tigers this evening. Fourth and five for Swainsboro at the Tiger 37 or 38, close, I guess, to the 38. And they're going to run it. Allen carries the ball, but the Bulldogs swarm them, and they're celebrating a big stop. They tackle them right at the 40. And the Dogs will take over with three minutes and four seconds to go, leading the ball game 28-20. Moving the ball from the 40 to the 50. Somebody must have been holding. Clock is not running, but now it is at 247. First and 20 for the Dogs. And Mincy will run the football, break a tackle, and he scoots free. Mincy inside the 30 to the 25 to the 20 to the 15 down the sideline to the 10 with a dog first down. He goes out with two minutes and 32 seconds to play in the game on a big run by D.J. Mincy. So the ball is down inside the 10, down at the eight. Marion brings out the tee. He'll be on the right hash. And uh, he'll be kicking a 25 yarder. And here it is up in the air. And this field goal is good. And that gives the Bulldogs a two possession lead at 11 points at 31-20. Julian Marion Vital kicking a 25-yarder as a left-footed kicker from the right hash, and he kicked it perfectly through the uprights. Dogs up 31-20 with 2.05 to play as we break on Y101. Both teams would have two losses, and Trey Cloud takes a knee. Might have to do that one more time. Boy, the last time the Bulldogs came over here back in 2008 needing a win, they got it. And the heroes were Demery Hawkins and Tory Lamb and C.J. Scott and A.J. Fletcher with a big pick at the end of the game. When they went up against Malcolm Eady, a fine quarterback, and of course tonight they went up against Cade Yeomans, another fine quarterback. Clock down to 14. And I don't even know if the Bulldogs have to snap it. They haven't even started the play clock. The Dogs are going to let that clock tick and tick. And you can hear the Bulldog fans counting it down. At three, at two, at one, the Dogs win. It's a big one for Toombs County. Coming to Swainsboro, not a must win, but they got the victory 31-20. And it was back and forth in the early part of the ball game with Swainsboro scoring first to take a 7-0 lead on a 48-yard completion. Sebro catching the ball, that was Cedric. Then the dogs came back with 9.07 to go in the first quarter. Chandler Lynn caught a 39 yard pass from Trey Cloud. Then with 5.37 to go in the first quarter, DJ Mincy scored on a 38 yard run. Then Sebro scored to tie the game at 14 on a 36 yard catch. And then the Bulldogs went back in front with 8.27 to play in the opening half. Caleb Hartley with a catch, short throw from Trey Cloud, and he ran it in from 13. And the Bulldogs led 21-14 at half and made it a two-touchdown lead with 8.17 to go in the third quarter. Cloud to Tyler Heath for 17. Then Yeomans scored on a one-yard run. They went for two after a pass interference call against the Bulldogs, and the run failed, and the Bulldogs led 28-20. Julian Marion Vital tried a 53-yarder, came up well short, but drilled a 25-yarder with 2.05 to play in the game to give the Bulldogs a 31-20 victory. Both teams are shaking hands, and the Dogs are going back to the playoffs for the fourth year in a row under head coach Richie Marsh. Congratulations to him, the entire staff, and all the 2019 Dogs. And I'll be headed down to the locker room that's coming up next. You'll also hear from the Red Coat Marching Band here on Toombs County Bulldog Football as we take a break on Y101.